Welcome to the channel everyone. Uh, today I am working on getting my winch, uh, actually working on my truck. I have a uh, Rough Country, the 9500 uh, Pro Series I believe with the synthetic uh, rope. I've uh, installed that in a uh, Rough Country DIY uh, bumper that I had to weld together on my 2009 uh, Silverado 2500 HD. I have videos on everything. You can check them out if you want to. Like I said, I'm just I'm trying to get my wiring all sorted out. Uh, this is the little control box that's usually mounted on the winch. Um, this goes over this stuff and covers that all up. Uh, then you've got these brackets right here that actually bolt to the winch. I didn't have enough room. My uh, Radiator support was in the way, so I had to take this off. Um, in order to get this plastic cover off, you got to take these off, which are mounted with these bolts. Then you've got this, which has got uh, three screws. And here's the screws. Here's some of them right here. And they screws it down to this plate here. Now, uh, right here is where you plug in the 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 Rough Country controller, the handheld controller. Um, I've added something to this. I've added this right here, this little black box. And this is a, a wireless winch kit. And uh, with the kit you get this little box and you get this remote here. I will link this in the description in the comment section. So you can pick that up if you want or check it out. So from what I understand with the directions, you know, there's four wires coming out of here and I believe uh, the black is the ground. So I've got that run to the, the, the terminal that uh, is being grounded. And then um, the positive, I got it right here, it's going to go to the positive uh, cable on here, uh, which is the same thing that's happening over here with this handheld controller plug and then you've got the the white and the yellow which I believe is the control which is in or out uh, this one right here is the antenna for the for the wireless I'm just gonna run that outside the box when I put the cover back on um, when I open this up there's terminals uh, that were already on here um, so you can see I got them plugged in one two three here um, th these were they had extra terminals on there, which um, it looks to me like they are all set up to have a wireless uh, winch kit on these winches already. Uh, like it's, and, and there's even like room right here for this box, and there was holes here. I didn't even drill these holes. I just I just found some screws that I had, small ones, and screwed this on here. Um, I did have to trim a little bit of the plastic down here where my finger is there. I had to trim some of that back um, in order for this to fit right once it all goes back together. So you will have to do a little bit of fiddling guys if you want to do the same exact thing that I'm doing. But uh, these terminals were already there. Uh, they were shrink wrapped so I cut the shrink wrap off them so I could plug these um, spade connectors and I'm just using these spade connectors here. These ones are actually too long. I got these really nice ones with the uh, weatherproof um, shrink wrap on them and they're really they're too long you can see I had to kind of bend them and they're even going to get squished right here uh, with the cover probably pretty good really you don't that's not a, probably a good idea should have some shorter ones here that would have worked out better but I thought I was getting nicer connectors but anyway um, I'm actually about ready to button this up I'm going to put this cover back on and I'm going to have to figure out a way to mount this control under the truck without being um, attached to the winch uh, with with these brackets and probably got to make my own brackets or something or modify these or something I'm gonna have to figure something out I'll show you what I do 
but I'm gonna get this back together. I just wanted to show you what was going on inside this box and um, how it how it comes apart. These these wires here, all these big wires, they, they go to the winch. Um, then you got a big one here, longer one that goes to the uh, positive cable on your battery. And then there's a negative that, that, that goes on the winch itself and that goes to the negative of the, the battery on your vehicle. So that's kind of the whole control in a nutshell. Um, like I said, I'm going to button this up so I can figure out um, how I'm going to mount this up under there. So I got my winch. Um, I actually got it all hooked up. Got everything figured out. And I can try to walk you guys through this. This is probably, uh, you know, it's not going to be a setup that that most people are going to have because uh, this this is like a custom bumper and everything like that. So, but anyway, um, you can see my my control box um, is right here, and what I've done is I've actually used the original um, those two little brackets that attach to the the winch here with these round supports. And I, I used that and I just moved the hole. Instead of using both holes, here's a, a hole or a mount. I'm just using the top ones. So it's really only mounted by two, uh, but it's really, um, it's pretty stout um, because it's up against this cross member right here. So it really doesn't move. Um, someday maybe when um, I got the truck in the air and I can stand up, I might uh, make myself another mount uh, to, to attach it to something here. Maybe maybe this cross member or something. It's going to be all right for now. Um, I've got all my cables run and uh, from this control box to the winch. And that's not uh, difficult because um, they're actually color coded. I don't know if you can see under here. Uh, maybe you can't. They got little uh, colors on them. Ring the colors. So you can't really mess it up. Um, so that's kind of nice. Um, there's my controller right here that I've... That, uh, the handheld controller. Uh, keep in mind there is going to be a wind... Uh, uh, skid plate right here so it's not going to be the easiest to get to. That's one of the reasons I wanted the um, wireless remote is because it's going to be kind of hard to get to. Uh, I have ordered an extension. They have an extensions, uh, a four foot extension I believe for these and I'm going to, I've got one on order and I would have liked to have done it now but um, they're back ordered I guess so I'm going to be able to plug into here and I'm going to run it to the top of the truck and then um, that'll solve that issue of difficult uh, you know, place to get to. Um, and then I've got my, my negative, my positive. I got that run up uh, to the top of the bumper. Okay, so we're on the top of the bumper there and um, you can see there's the negative that, that bolts right to the side of the winch. That's the negative, the positive one there. You can see I've got a little red zip tie around that. That's the positive uh, cable. So I got the negative cable running uh, across the grill. And then um, I've actually got it run to right there. And that's the ground. Um, you used to use that when you, when you jump started these. You'd put your ground um, cable there. I've uh, I've hooked snow plows to, it, to this spot, so um, and it's actually a really good ground. Um, the uh, positive, I run this way into the grill, around there, cleaner there, and I just uh, actually just bolted onto the positive cable for now. I mean, um, this is this is just temporary, guys. I might be going with a second battery, so I'm just trying to get this. Um, working and, and kind of situated all the wires and everything so I've got it working here I can show you uh, with the, the wireless remote here let me grab that ok 
Okay, see, so here's the, the wireless remote, and I have opened this thing up just to kind of see what kind of batteries it took. Um, I've, I was looking at the worn uh, wireless remote, and there's some people complaining about the batteries not lasting very long, so probably going to pick up a few batteries uh, for this thing. It's got some odd 12 volt batteries in it. I don't know, know how long it's going to last, but here's the on button. You got to kind of hold it for a second and that turns it on and then you hold it for a second and it turns it off but um, we'll turn it on um, and you can see it's uh, it's uh, working here and um, my sleeve here isn't working out. It's bunching up for some reason. <clears throat> this sleeve right here keeps getting bunched up on me and I don't exactly know what it's doing but I guess I'm pulling, maybe I'm pulling up on it. So we'll take her in. Okay, so you gotta kind of be a little bit uh, careful with this because it seems like when you um, when you stop pushing the button, it takes a second or so for the winch to stop moving. So you do gotta be careful. Um, you know, you, you gotta kind of stop it beforehand. I don't know if the handheld remote works the same way. If it's an instant on off, I'm not sure. Not too familiar. I've not had too many winches. Uh, I've, not, I've had winches on four wheelers, but not these really big winches. So I don't know if that's uh, any different with the remote or not, but this is actually nice. I think it says that it'll go like 75 feet. Um, I haven't actually tested that, but uh, I can go this far and uh, Turn it on, and it's working. I don't know what this is. This is probably uh, um, 30 feet or something like that. But anyway, uh, I'm actually pretty happy with this remote. Um, it's, it's pretty neat, and it's going to come in, uh, you know, very handy for this as long as it uh, the batteries uh, stay up on it. Okay, so now I'm going to. Uh, deal with another issue that I had and uh, before I button everything up is my clutch engagement lever um, it's right now it's engaged in order to uh, disengage it you got to go all the way up and you can see it's hitting the uh, radiator support right there I can't uh, disengage it fully so um, I can't I can't rotate this thing 90 degrees. It won't let me do that because uh, it's it's made a certain way. Um, you can rotate it 180 degrees, but you can't rotate this thing um, 90 degrees. So uh, what I'm going to attempt to do is make a custom handle here. So I got to get um, my Allen wrench out. I got to take this bolt out and this lever um, slides off of here. Okay, so here is the, the clutch lever, clutch engagement le lever, um, and you can see why um, it can only be rotated 180 degrees. You can't rotate it like 90 because it's got that uh, weird shape there. Um, what I've done is, is I, I've taken a piece of little pipe and I've simulated uh, this this piece right here um, without the odd shape. I really can't make that. I've tried putting some, some pieces of metal in there and it's just it's just too small for me to to actually make something. So I just got my hole drilled and I'm gonna I'm gonna put it on there and I'm gonna I'm gonna weld a handle on this thing uh, so it's 90 degrees um, 
you know, instead of being uh, straight up and down, it's going to start over here. So when I rotate it, it's not going to get hit by the the radiator shroud or the the radiator support. So here it is all together. It's just a piece of rod uh, welded to my my piece I made, and I didn't really want to rely on just the bolt. So I did go in here and I welded this up. And then I got my Dremel out and I got one of the small little grinding wheel things and I went in there and I ground it so it simulated uh, this piece and it took a little while but I think it's well worth it um, so I ain't relying entirely on that, uh, that little bolt. So I'm happy with that. Um, let's get this thing on here. I'm going to test it and uh, we'll see how she does. Okay, so there it is installed and then that's engaged and if I move it all the way over here it is disengaged and I can just pull the rope out and then if I turn it um, all the way this way again it is engaged so there it is working so there it is all painted up gonna get her installed Let's get this thing buttoned up and maybe we'll uh, take the winch out give her a try on something Well, that worked out pretty well. Um, not the fastest way to do it, but uh, pretty easy with one person uh, with my remote here. The remote worked really well. So, probably gonna have to rewind the winch here because it's all kind of bunched over to one side. But uh, that shouldn't be too hard. So, pretty happy with this, guys. So I'm pretty happy with the results of the that little test. 
and, and really stuff like that is uh, what I'm going to be doing with this winch anyway. I'm, I'm never going to have this truck buried uh, frame deep in the mud, but little tasks like that, I'm hoping that uh, the winch comes in handy. But anyway guys, that's going to do it for this one. Uh, hopefully uh, you enjoyed it, and I'll see you.